After traveling the world as a photo documentarian, Alexander Dietz found everything that she was seeking right here in Key West. Now her upcoming exhibit, Changing Ties, it will take viewers on a one-year tour of the island. It will also introduce them to a whole new group of one-of-a-kind characters. Her exhibit, it shares the story of an island whose strength lies in the embrace of its individuality. Alexandra, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. Thank you for having me. Alex, I am so excited to see your exhibit at the studios of Key West. Now, before coming here to Key West, how many countries had you traveled to? I think approximately 60-something. I'm not entirely sure. I've lived in about five, and then, yeah, just been lucky enough to travel around. Would you say that there was any place that compared to Key West? Well, I don't think there's any place that really compares to your own country just because you, you identify, you have accessibility in your own country. I can sit on someone's front porch and speak my own language. So, mm -hmm. Well, there was obviously something that drew you here to Key West and you wanted to do this project. And you have ties even to the island too, Alex. You spent a lot of time growing up yeah. here. Yeah, I, I've been here several times, and um, I think what drew me to this island is just purely the diversity and the fact that I could relate with a lot of different characters here from, you know, having hitchhiked the, across the country myself to being really active in the LGBT community in Chicago. Um, so there were tons of different characters here that I felt like I would relate with and get mm -hmm. along with. Mm -hmm. you know? and out of all those characters that you met, do you have one that like just sticks out or do they all stick oh out to you? Oh my goodness, no. It's <laughs> like impossible at this point because I think when I first came here, I thought of this, you know, as a, as a project and you, you're collecting photographs. Um, but at this point, I don't even think of people as characters so much anymore as my friends. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a character. I rock out in my cowboy boots. <laughs> you know, I have my camera. Like... I, I feel like we're all characters in Key West at this point. Absolutely, and that's what you were able, you were able to really expose the personalities uh, of everyone so. here. I <laughs> hope so. Well, I've seen some of the photos, a couple teasers, and, and from what I can see, y you've done that. So I can't wait to see the final show. Now, Alex, this was only supposed to be a five-month project, but you have been here for a year. Are you going to even stay longer now, or are you going to move on? I hope I can stay longer. Um, yeah, it started off as five months and I did the Kickstarter project and got about $16,000 for funding initially to live here and really be able to pay attention and socialize, get access to people, get a sense of the island, Cubans, conks, shrimpers, sailors, Eastern Europeans, Israeli, street kids, street performers, LGBT community. Um, but then Studios of Key West offered me an exhibition and that was going to be this this coming this is October and it's mm -hmm. it's now mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, I It didn't make sense to like leave and try to put together an exhibition like this Which I needed so much support for mm -hmm. um, So I, I got a job like everyone else and uh, still been taking photos, but just living more of a normal life here, mm -hmm. if there is such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's next so for you, Alex? Do you think you'll, you'll move on to another country? I mean, I think I'm, a, I'm addicted to moving. You know, mm -hmm. it's part of my personality, it's part of my soul, but so is Key West now, so I don't have any immediate plans to leave. <laughs> well, good. I hope you stay for a little bit longer at least. Yeah. And again, I, I look forward to this exhibit. And Alex, before we go this morning, Tell me real quick what you would say you're most proud of. I think, you know, any time that you end a project or not e I feel like I could photograph people here forever. There's always somebody to know. But just putting together anything cohesive, um, really honoring my backers and ideally what people expected me to come here and do, what I said I was going to come here and do. So. Mm -hmm. We'll see after the exhibition. You know. <laughs> You'll see with the response. But you've accomplished. Like I'm, you said, you've I'm accomplished. I'm proud that it's come together, mm -hmm. you know, and that, um, and that I've made so many friends here that I really love. Like, this isn't just a project to me. This is, like I said, a part of me now. Mm -hmm. So. 
If you want any more information on Alexandra's project, just check out the info that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now. There's more to come this morning. Stay with me.